All right, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Move of the day is going to be from 411, submission, yeah? So we've done those two entries now. So let's say we've got our 411 position, okay? Now, from a rule standpoint, 411 is kind of a dangerous place to be for me in uh, IBJJF rules because I can get busted for reaping if I attack the trapped leg. This is the trapped leg, okay? But it's perfectly fine for me to attack the not trapped leg, okay? So for all of us geek competitors, lower belts, we're going to work on a submission on this far leg today, all right? Easiest one to learn is just a straight ankle lock, okay? So I have the 411. <clears throat> my hips are on this side of my body, and I'm facing him. And this foot's on the mat, so he can't just roll out. It's harder for him to hide his heel, right? To attack this leg now, I can overhook it and I could just try to ankle lock here and maybe if I'm real strong and he's got real tight ankles, maybe I'll get it. But it's a much tighter submission if I lift and take my inside arm and feed it across and then I lock it in here and you get a much better calf cruncher submission on him there, yeah? So here, all right, you can crank it. Probably not, especially not with Josh with his flexible ass ankles. But with this arm that comes across, and I go a little deep and then I roll it back, tightens it up, and then we can get a lot of good breaking pressure there, okay? So we'll start from the 411 position. All right, let's have this leg away from us. We'll sit up, we'll row it. It's called rowing the boat. One at the knee, one at the ankle. I'm gonna pull it over this leg and then overhook it, okay? You could try the submission here. Just try it, feel it, mess with it. See if you can maybe get a tap on your partner. Way harder here, all right? So you're lifting with this arm, shooting this one under, and then once you make contact, kind of drag it back a little. And then you're going on your bicep, kind of a rear naked lock, and then you're just kind of leaning back on it and turning towards it. It's like a twisting, breaking pressure on it. Okay. Yeah, and go for it. Uh, one thing, guys, I just really want you to focus on, uh, the knee line and leg locks is the most important part, okay? I've seen a lot of people that were entering and they were having the knee lines already dropped out. Um, when you're defending a, a leg lock, what you're trying to do is drop your knee line and you're safe. So make sure you guys are high up on the, the thigh um, because if you allow them to, like if you're locking on the knee or below the knee, they're already out. There's no submission there. So make sure you guys are being really diligent. Have your butt scooted up towards their own hip um, and make sure you're below that knee line. It's going to ensure your locks. If you go too low, it's going to make it really easy on your opponent, and you just did all that work for nothing. And we're going to be going over that next next week and the escapes and all that. But because the key to getting out of this position is beating the knee line, meaning getting your knee out of line of their knee, that's why it's called the knee line, having this leg, the far leg, is really important. It makes it much harder for him to get his knee out, right? So the escapes are all premised on getting this leg free first, turning, getting your knee out, right? So. We'll be doing all that next week. All right, we all good on those? One, two, three.